Hello, welcome to Michael's Musings on Music. Today I want to tell you three stories about Mozart. Now Mozart was a child prodigy, and when he was very young, about seven years old, he embarked on a grand tour of Europe to show off how precocious he was as a musician. And he was accompanied by his father and his sister. And this tour lasted three years as he traveled to all the major centers of Europe. One of the stops was in Rome, where he and his father listened to a concert uh, in the Sistine Chapel. Now, the piece that was performed was a piece by Allegri called Miserere. And it's a piece about 10 minutes long for nine solo voices. Now, the thing about this piece was it was forbidden to be performed or heard or transcribed outside of the Sistine Chapel under the threat of excommunication. So Mozart and his father listened to this concert. Then they went back to their lodgings. And after listening to it only one time, this is nine voice piece now, after listening to it only once, Mozart sat down and wrote out the whole piece perfectly by memory. Now this is a problem because this piece was not allowed to be transcribed outside of the Sistine Chapel. So the Pope found out about this and instead of being very angry with the young Mozart, actually was quite impressed and showered him with praise. My next concert, uh, my next concert, my next uh, story is uh, a little later on when Mozart was around uh, in his late teens, early adulthood. Now, Mozart, the genius, um, can be imagined as a very refined person. Certainly his music can be very elegant, but there is a certain off-color humor uh, with Mozart that he had his entire life, uh, really like toilet humor. So to demonstrate this, let me read to you a letter, a part of a letter that he wrote to his cousin when Mozart was 22. Be sure to come, otherwise it's a shit. Then I shall, in my own high person, compliment you, put a seal on your ass, kiss your hand, shoot off the rear gun, embrace you, clean you behind and in front, pay to the last penny whatever I owe you, and sound out a solid fart, and perhaps let something drop. <laughs> My third story of Mozart takes place in the last year of his life. Mozart in this year received a commission to write a requiem mass, a mass for the dead. Now a commission is a request by someone to have a piece written for them. Now, part of the mystery of this was that Mozart was forbidden to find out who it was that commissioned this piece. So Mozart, feeling ill at this point and, and getting it into his head somehow, that this Requiem commission was actually for his own death. So Mozart worked furiously on it day and night, trying to complete it before he himself died. Now, Unfortunately, he died before he completed the Requiem, and it was finished by, by his students. So who was this mystery commissioner, this fellow or lady who commissioned this piece, this Requiem? Turns out it was a count by the name of Franz von Walsegg, and he had the very interesting habit of requesting uh, music from famous composers of the day and passing them off as his own. So this Requiem was going to be performed at his wife's funeral uh, that he was going to claim was his own work. Now, it didn't turn out that way. Uh, it was always known that this Requiem was by Mozart. And as I said, when he died, it was completed and is performed very often to this very day. Next time, I'd like to tell you three stories about Joseph Haydn. <laughs>